Hello everyone, um, I wanted to talk about two of John Mayer's best um, major pentatonic licks, in my opinion anyway. Uh, they are from Come When I Call and they are both played uh, after each other in the same performance and I think they are some of the coolest licks ever. And here is the first one. And here is the second one. So super cool, super super cool. So here is the first one played. And here's the second one played. So good, the two of them licks. So we're gonna learn how to play both of them. A uh, little thing before we start. The whole thing is in G major, G dominant. That chord there. And he always plays the licks when it comes back around to that G. So it's a shuffle. It's a it's a 12 bar shuffle. And it's like um, C7. Back to G7. D7. C7. And then the licks always come in on the G because he's playing in G mixolydian for the whole lick and he basically is jumping between both major and minor so really good let's jump straight into the first lick um we're going to break it down into parts it's a little bit rhythmically wacky that's what makes it so good so first things first is don't worry if you don't get it straight away because it's just a little bit of practice and we're going to fly through it so the first part of the lick is a triplet before the first beat so if you think about it like this, it's like one, two, three. So and when my head bobs down, that's the first beat. And that's this here, five, five, four. Cool. The next part is a, so that's part one and two. Hardest like rhythmically thing to get around. The rest of it's pretty straightforward. So here it is, really slow. If you want to keep skipping back to this part, I'll play it a couple of times. So this is 
kind of just like an ending part of the lick to bring it back to the G, but we'll get there in a minute. So the second lick um, is, think of it like your, your, G, um, your G minor pentatonic. Except we're gonna basically mess around with this. And what messing around with this is, that's your major third, and it's a pretty defining feature of a dominant chord something major or minor. Usually in a minor pentatonic we have a minor third, which is this note here, but we have a major third. So the second lick starts on the note F, just here. And it's a hammer on pull off on the three and five. So we start on six, hammer on three five and pull off. Down here on the C, on the G string. So that's your first part. Next part is we're gonna mess around with that major third, which is what makes everything major on a dominant chord. So we're gonna hammer on three to four, pull off, back to three. So and then land on the G up here, our root note. And then a few double stops. Cool. So we're gonna go back to that G again. So. tempo. Second lick. So the coolest thing about those licks are they can pretty much be used in any blues situation you come across and um, whether it be like a major blues in pretty much any key. So let's just for example change them around so you can hear what they sound like. Um, so that was G. So let's go back to G and remember play those slow because they're tricky rhythmically, they're like a little bit bouncy, they're almost circular. Cool, and in the last one. practice them yourself uh, if you have some sort of loop pedal or even just look up uh, G uh, major blues yeah that's that's it my advice for learning those would be to change every key maybe just try playing it like stupidly high up on the neck maybe in like F or something uh, see how that sounds to you like um, how it sounds to your own ear like that, maybe play the other one down here um, at C sharp. Just get your ears around those kind of rhythmically. Um, if you like this and you think that Mayer is cool, I do a lot of his content and I take a lot of his cool stuff and do lessons on it. If you want to see more of it, I would consider subscribing. If you don't want to, that's fine. Um, if you like any of my stuff, uh, share it with your friends. And thank you for watching, I really appreciate it. Um, happy guitar playing and I will see you all soon.